okay so in our last class uh, we had solved this question paper and it was done till question number 16 right if you have attended yesterday's class you might be knowing or if you have seen the video from YouTube uh, you might be knowing this okay so today we will be solving from question number 17 so these questions are very important actually they are from uh, previous exam questions paper okay if you solve all these questions you'll get ideas like no, no. which type sorry am i not audible 70 okay so question number 17 says if sin p is equal to 1 then find the value of cos p screen is not visible okay yeah it's visible you kindly be at a location where your net is working very fast it depends upon your connectivity also okay come to the home page directly you will be able to see the screen others can see the screen yes sir yeah yes yes okay so I have okay. muted you all. Now let us start. So question number 17. It says sine P is equal to 1. Now what is the value of cos P? Okay. This is the question. Right. So you have different ways to solve this. Uh, I will use the identity sin square p plus cos square p is equal to 1 right here sin p is 1 so I will write it as 1 square and this is cos square p which is equal to 1 so cos square p will be 1 minus 1 which is 0 so if cos square p is 0 even the cos p e will be 0 so the value of cos p is 0 got it this is one method uh, let me solve it using other method as well see for what value of p sine will be 1 we know that it is for sine 90 degree correct for sine 90 degree the value is 1 am i right so what will be cos 90 degree it is 0 right see in both cases we are getting the answer as 0 i hope it's clear if you have understood you can raise your hand sorry you can just give a thumbs up raise your hand if you have any doubt okay so some of you so question number 18 says if sine square a is equal to 0 then find the value of cos a okay again using identities same identity sine square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 here they have given sine square a as 0 so if I write here 0 and if I substitute this becomes cos square a as 1 so cos a will be root 1 root 1 is 1 itself so the answer is 1 is it clear okay so next we'll move to question number 19 the question says if cosec theta is 13 by 12 let me write it here cosec theta is 13 by 12 then find the value of cos theta okay so if it was sine we could have just written the reciprocal of cosec but they have asked find the value of cos theta so we have to draw this figure okay i will take theta here 
so this side is called as hypotenuse this will be opposite and this is adjacent now what is cosec theta it is reciprocal of sine correct and sine is o by h so i'll write this as h by o so as per this h value is 13 and o value is 12 we need to find the value of a so to find a we have to use pythagoras theorem see if you know pythagoras triplets 13 12 and 5 this is a pythagoras triplet right 5 is the answer but those who don't know i am solving this for them but in exam you have to solve it using pythagoras theorem first so i'll name this as a b and c so as per pythagoras theorem it says ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square okay ac is 13 ab is 12 and bc is unknown so this is 169 this is 144 bc square so bc square is 169 minus 144 which is equal to 25 so bc square is 25 bc is root 25 which gives us value 5 okay so a is 5 got it now coming to question cos theta what is cos theta it is a by h here a is bc and h is ac so bc is 5 ac is 13 this is the answer this is the general type of question which uh, which you may expect in the exam okay so you have to use pythagoras theorem find a value which is unknown and then you can uh, solve it for any ratio it can be cos tan sec okay any doubt have you all understood So the next question is question number 20, right? Sorry. Question number 20 is sine theta is 12 by 13. We have to find the values of cos theta and tan theta. So I'll write here sine theta is 12 by 13. So again if I take a diagram like this if this is theta this will be O this will be H and this is A so sine is O by H it means this side is 12 this side is 13 and again A will be 5 just now we have solved this using Pythagoras theorem okay so I will write it directly there was cos theta so cos theta is A by H answer will be 5 by 13 again tan theta tan theta is o by a here the value of o is 12 and a is 5 so the answer is 12 by 5 have you guys understood it if you have any doubt please do ask or else we'll move to the next question yes what is your doubt those who have raised their hand what is your doubt you can unmute yourself and speak okay so we'll go to question number 21 what does it says question number 21 it says if root 3 into tan theta is equal to 1 and theta is acute find the value of sine 3 theta plus cos 2 theta okay theta is acute means uh, it will be less than 90 degree correct so it can be either 0 30 45 or 60 so let us solve it tan theta will be if i transfer this root 3 to rhs it's become 1 by root 3 and now for what value of theta tan is 1 by root 30 
it is tan 30 degree correct so theta is how much 30 degree so we got the value of theta based on the given data right now substitute in this sin 3 theta so 3 into theta is 30 degree so i'll write it like this and cos 2 theta so <coughs> cos 2 into theta is again 30 degree okay so if you solve it you will get sin 33 is a 90 plus cos 2 into 30 is 60 so what is sin 90 it is 1 plus what is cos 60 it is 1 by 2 so if you solve them you take LCM here this is 2 and this is 1 so 3 by 2 this is the answer I hope it's clear have you all understood 22 it says if root 3 seek a divided by cosec a is equal to 1 then find the value of a they have asked the value of a means they have asked angle what is the value of angle c if i write here seek a by cosec a and if i transfer this root 3 to rhs it's become 1 by root 3 because in lhs it is getting multiplied when it comes to rhs it will be divided so 1 by root 3 and what is seek i can write it as 1 by cos a correct and cosec a can be written as 1 by sin a which is equal to 1 by root 3 now if i bring this to numerator it can be written by as 1 by cos a into this goes numerator so sin a by 1 which is equal to 1 by root 3 now sin by cos is what tan so tan a is 1 by root 3 now for what value of tan we get uh, 1 by root 3 it is 30 degree correct it means a is 30 degree I hope it's clear have you guys understood do you have any doubt in this are you guys there please do react okay so so question number 23 I will write here LHS first let me write sin 30 degree into cos 60 plus cos 30 into sin 60 this should be equal to sin 90 ok so let me solve LHS first what is sin 30 1 by 2 correct what about cos 60 again it is 1 by 2 plus cos 30 is how much it is root 3 by 2 right 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 so cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and uh, sin 60 is again root 3 by 2 so now do the multiplication 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4 here root 3 into root 3 it will become root 3 square and square root will get cancelled you will get just 3 and now denominator 2 into 2 which is 4 so if you take LCM it's become 4 in denominator and 1 plus 3 in the numerator so 4 by 4 which is equal to 1 this is our LHS now if I take RHS they have been given as ni sin 90 so what is the value of sin 90 it is 1 right so both LHS and RHS are equal to 1 hence that proves the given question have you understood shall we move to the next question so question number 24 uh, this is very important question this may be asked for three marks most of the time they have asked it 
the question says prove that sec a minus cos a into cot a plus tan a cot a plus tan a is equal to tan a into sec a okay so this is a proof type question this may be asked for three marks okay see i have solved these type of questions in my previous classes how you can proceed uh, see if you get such question there are uh, some methods like first is either you can solve lhs you'll get rhs directly or else you have to solve lhs first then RH is first. Both will get same. Those are the two cases. Okay. So we'll go with LHS first. If you get RHS directly, that's it. Our proof is done. Or else we have to solve RHS as well. Okay. So first, I always try to say this is uh, like you have to convert them in sine and cos. Whatever question they give you try to bring them in sine and cos first okay so let us do that here seek can be written as 1 by cos a minus cos a you keep it as it is here cot a can be written as cos a by sine a and tan e is again sine a by cos a so i am taking only lhs first okay now if i take lcm this becomes cos a so this is one and cos into cos will be cos squared same with this sine a into cos a that is the lcm if you do multiplication cross multiplication you will get here cos square a and here sine square a okay now i am going to use the identity see we have this identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, right? So, what will be 1 minus cos square? If I bring cos to RHS, we will get sine square theta, right? So, at place of this, I will write sine square A. Denominator, keep it as it is, as cos A. Now, here, I can write sine square plus cos square as 1 directly right we will write 1 here and now this is sin a into cos a ok now sin square a I will write it 2 times sin a into sin a into 1 divided by cos a into sin a into cos a now everything is getting multiplied here so they will get cancel directly sine and sine will get cancelled so remainder is here sine by cos these two you can take together and these two together so sine by cos is tan a and 1 by cos is ck which is the rhs i hope it's clear have you understood Have you all got it? Okay. So, these type of questions you may expect for 3 marks. They are very easy. You just have to change them in sign and cos. Do LCM. And use identities. You are easily going to get the answer. Okay. This chapter will only get you marks if you practice. Only practice can get you better marks in this section. Without practice, you can't solve any question. Okay? So now, let us solve question number 25. So question number 25 says, If A, B and C are interior angles of a triangle, then prove that prove that 1 plus tan square of a plus b by 2 is equal to cosec square c by 2 okay so 
this is little tricky question but it's easy see trigonometry is totally based on this one right right angle triangle correct so they have given a b c are three interior angles and 1 plus tan square a plus b by 2 is equal to cosec square c by 2 so i will take these as a b and c c is 90 degree a and b are the other two angles okay so and why i am taking a and b this side see here in question they have given tan square as a plus b so i am taking this together a and b like these two angles should not be equal to c that is 90 degree okay have you understood so if you know this a plus b plus c angle a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degree correct sum of the uh, angles of a triangle is equal to 180 now as per this figure c is 90 degree correct so i'll write it here as 90 and we don't know the value of a and b so i'll keep it as it is which is equal to 180 so a plus b will be how much 180 minus 90 so what is 180 minus 90 it is 90 it means a plus b is 90 right so what will be half of this a plus b by 2 is equal to 90 by 2 which is equal to 45 degree okay it means they have given 1 plus tan square 45 degree got it and c is 90 as per the figure so i'll write it here as 90 by 2 now if i solve this 1 plus what is tan 45 it is 1 so 1 square 1 plus 1 is 2 so this we got in lhs now rhs is cosec 90 by 42 so cosec what is 90 by 2 it is 45 cosec is reciprocal of sine what is sine 45 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 correct so this will become root 2 reciprocal and square is there so if you cancel square and root you get 2 so again in rhs also we are getting the same value so this shows our answer is 2 have you guys understood do you have any doubt in this question okay so let us solve shall we stop here or continue so here the question says prove that sin a divided by 1 plus cos a plus 1 plus cos a divided by sin a is equal to 2 cosec a right this is the question so there are many different steps to solve them but i will try to follow the easiest ones okay like everything is in the form of sin and cos right so first we are going to take lcm since there is plus in between we'll take lcm of denominator so it's become 1 by cos a into this is sin a right so numerator will become just multiply in this form so sin into sin this becomes sin square a and here 1 plus cos a into 1 plus cos a even that is 1 plus cos a whole square right now next step is write this as it is and expand this so a plus b whole square formula you have to use what is a plus b whole square it is a square plus b square plus 2ab right so that is what i'm going to use here so this is 1 square plus cos square a plus 2 into 1 into 
cos a. So one I am not writing that. And denominator is as it is. 1 plus cos a into sin a. Even if you write 1, there is no problem. Because 2 into 1 is 2 itself. So that's why I had ignored it. Okay. Now, see here. Sin square and cos square. As per the formula, that is identity. Sin square plus cos square a is what? 1. So I can write 1 directly. Here it is 1 square. So 1 square is 1. Plus this is 2 cos a divided by 1 plus cos a into sin a. Now, what is 1 plus 1? It is 2. And this is 2 cos a divided by 1 plus cos a into sin a. Right? So, what is the next step? 2 I will take common in numerator. So, I will get here as 1 plus cos a divided by this is 1 plus cos a into sin a. Now this and this are same. So they will get cancelled. So the remainder part are 2 by sin a. So 2 is as it is and 1 by sin is how much? It is cosec a. Right? So that is what they have asked in RHS. Right? 2 into cosec a. So we got our answer. I hope you have understood. Do you have any doubt? No doubt?